What's up, you guys, and welcome to the channel. Today we have another uh, 50th Lucasfilm anniversary of Star Wars, um, the, the archive wave of an Imperial hover tank driver. Now, why did I get this figure? One, I like troopers. Troopers are always fun to put in your collection. But two, Mandalorian season two. Uh, spoiler alert for those who have not watched Mandalorian season two, I'm going to talk about it a little bit. So, in the episode, um, you see uh, you see the Mandalorian and Bill Burr's character uh, Mayfield disguise themselves as troopers, hover tank troopers to be exact. So, and then you actually get to see the Mandalorian's face. So, for those of you who just can't seem to find a Mando figure, and you're just like, man, I just really want a Mando figure. Bam, here's a cheap way to do it. Yeah, he's not in the best car armor, but you can always be like, that represents my Mando. But no, I like, I've been buying, um, as, as those who follow my channel, uh, I mainly only focus on like Clone Wars, and Mandalorian Black Series figures because I try to limit my scopes. That way I'm not buying everything. So this represents to me a part of the Mandalorian. This might represent to others Rogue One or just put another sick, cool looking trooper in your collection. But that's my story. I'm doing it for the Mandalorian. I am all in on the Mandalorian and I love the show. And I try to buy everything to do with the Mandalorian. So Black Series wise. So here's the figure. Let's get this guy out of the package. Here is the Imperial Hover Tank Trooper out of the patch, and I love it. I love it just as much as I love the Scarab Trooper from the original Rogue One Black Series, which, by the way, is a part of this archive wave. If you have missed out, you can also get the Death Trooper. Now, I only chose to get the Hover, the Imperial Hover Tank Trooper and the Tusken Raider, which I just reviewed. Go check out that review. Go to my Star Wars playlist, and you can see all the Star Wars Black Series figures that I have reviewed on this channel, which is quite a bit. Okay, so I chose to get these two, but again, I chose to get it because it represents the Mandalorian, and although so does uh, the Scarab Trooper now and the um, and the Death Trooper, I already have a Death Trooper. I have the Elite Series version of the Death Trooper, and I've already have the Scarab Trooper from the original Black Series, uh, from the original Rogue One weave. But I do not have this, and I do not have the Tusken Raider at the time. So, I really love this figure. Now, I'm not really going to go over articulation, because I've already done Troopers on my page, and they are, are basically the same uh, articulation. So if you want to see it, just go watch one of my old Trooper videos. You know, I've reviewed um, quite a few of them. So, we're going to go over the detail. The detail of this figure is really, really beautiful. And again, this can represent another version of the Mandalorian for you guys in your collection. And, uh, He's going to be going with my Mandalorian uh, display, uh, no doubt. I just really, really love that show. I'm all in on it. It's one of my favorite things that um, has been out of recent. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely all in on it, and I I've enjoyed every single episode. So, you know, and I, one of the things I like about these figures is the detail of the weathering. You can look like this guy has been through some stuff, and I actually love, love, love the scene that they're in in uh, Rogue One when they're in Jeddah, and Jeddah's like a war zone, right? And you see these guys storming. You guys see these guys, you see these guys patrolling the uh, streets in their, um, in their tanks, and this is such a cool scene when Saul Guerrero and his, uh, and his group of uh, rebels just start laying waste to these guys. It's such a, Rogue One, I think, is out of all the Star Wars films that Disney has done, I think Rogue One is without a doubt the best one that they've done. And, uh, and I'm one of those people, uh, I, and I make no apologies for it, and it's because it's, it's my opinion. I love every Star Wars movie. I don't have a single piece of hatred in my heart for any Star Wars movie. I love them all. I think they're all fun. I have a good time. And if I watch Star Wars Marathon, I watch every single one. But if you don't feel the same, that is completely okay. There's no need that we all have to go to war over differences of opinion on movies and film. But... I digress. We are gonna get some figures out to put some comparisons to this beautiful figure right here. So, I have a uh, Mud Trooper from Solo Stars Story, which is one of my favorite figures in the Black Series Wave. It's a fantastic figure and I really love that movie. Um, and I also have Din Djar and the Mandalorian. So as you can see, they all scale in really, really wonderfully together. I think that this is a perfect addition to the Black Series. I really like this Archive Wave. I think it's probably the best Archive Wave that has came out of recent years. I highly suggest picking up these figures if you missed out or if you want to army build. Some really tremendous opportunities either way. I hope you guys like this video. Please comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you can. That's the best thing you could possibly do. Um, all the subscribers I've been getting as of recent have been fantastic. Um, I, we are really building this tiny community and it is really wonderful. And I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being a part of this uh, this little uh, channel that I've started. And it's it's been awesome, guys. I really, really do appreciate it. So, 
As always, I will check you guys out in the next video.